Hey, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we'll be covering networking. So I got my router here, I got my computers, I got about 50 feet of network. Okay, now actually we're going to be talking about wireless networking today, specifically wireless N. So give me a minute, I'll get all this cleaned up and we'll be back. Well, the cameraman didn't like my idea for explaining what wireless N technology is, so I'm going to do it the real simple way. Basically, it goes further and it goes faster than your old wireless G. There you go. I don't know about you, but when I'm lounging around the house on the couch, I'm pretty freaking lazy. So if I want to watch my HD videos or I want to listen to my music, I'm not willing to walk into the room where my file server is, pick up my USB key and get the file that way. So I need a really fast wireless network in my house. What you need to set up a wireless N network, first you need a wireless N enabled laptop. You are going to need a wireless N router. So I'll just get, thank you. Just like this D-Link one right here. And you'll also need some kind of uh, file server or file station somewhere in your house. So you can use basically any computer for that. But since this is Tech Tips, we decided to do something a little bit more fun than just any computer. So here's my file server. In a minute, we're going to show you the benefits of wireless N versus wireless G in terms of both range and in terms of file transfer speeds. So now we've got a pretty basic home network set up. If I can get the cameraman to zoom in on this window right here, you can see that we've got our ASUS Triple E, the uh, VIO PC right here, as well as the file server. So they're all connected to our network. So we're just going to show the, the speed to transfer a 100 megabyte file over wireless N. Well, I'm really bored. I think that's the most dry demonstration we've ever done. We'll talk about it a little bit more in the conclusion, but our next demo is going to be the range test, which is quite a bit more interesting. Okay, so we're starting our range test with the wireless G router. I'm going to walk out of the Tech Tip studio here, and we're going to see what kind of range we can get with our wireless G network. And we've actually got a wireless N adapter in this laptop, but we are running it in wireless G mode. So we're just going to go out the door right outside here. And I'm going to get the cameraman to watch carefully on the screen for any sort of... Uh, oh, there we go. So this is how far we get before our wireless G network starts to make the playback really stuttery and uh, basically completely unwatchable. Okay, so for our second run, let's uh, get going. The only difference between what we did on the first run and what we're doing now is that we're connected to a wireless N router. So that means that the wireless N network card in our VIO PC here is able to take full advantage of the extra bandwidth and the extra range of wireless N. So we're going out the door here. Now, this is where the wireless G router dropped out. But as you can see, the video playback is still smooth. And we're actually making our way across the parking lot here. So uh, I can get the cameraman to stop moving, go ahead and stop moving, and I'm just going to kind of keep walking here. I'll let you know when the video stops playing smoothly. I'm going to do a wire NCIX Tech Tips leap over this hedge, and uh, the video is still playing smoothly. There, we've started to get a little bit of choppiness now. So cameraman, if I could get you to pan around to the building where we came from. That's some very good panning, cameraman. And uh, then back over to me. We've gone clear across our parking lot into someone else's parking lot. I am now trespassing, and we're going to head back to the tech tips room. So basically what we learned today is that Overall, Wireless N offers about twice as fast file transfers and about twice the overall coverage when we were testing the distance playing the HD video. Now, the manufacturer claims for Wireless N routers are a little bit optimistic, uh, 15 times speed, 6 times speed, 10 times coverage, uh, not quite that much, but it does offer a clear benefit over Wireless G, so we'd have to say upgrading your wireless network to Wireless N is highly recommended. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.